Okay, here is warm up 12.1. Um, I've got a triangle here. I'm going to solve for x. So if you look at point C and D, these are both midpoints of those two sides. So that means that this segment here is a mid segment. And there's two things that are true about a mid segment of a triangle. One, it's going to be parallel to uh, one of the sides. So those two sides are parallel, which doesn't actually help me so uh, solve for x here. But the other thing that's true, this mid segment is going to be half the length of the bottom of the triangle. So what I can do is I can say if I double the, um, the 2x plus 3, it should equal 4x minus 10. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say 2 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 4x minus 10. You could also say half of 4x minus 10 would equal x plus 3. That would work as well. Okay, so um, I'm going to solve this here. I'll distribute the 2. You could also divide the whole equation by 2. That would work as well. But I'm going to distribute here first. Um, 2x plus 6 is going to equal 4x minus 10. Okay, and then I want to combine the x terms. So I'll subtract 2x from both sides. 6 equals 2x minus 10. I want to isolate the x now, so I'll add 10. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by 2. And x equals 8 then. Okay, and that's my solution. Now if I needed to find those segments, I could plug in the x value. Okay, all right, next up I've got um, uh, this polygon here. So first thing I need to figure out is how many sides I've got. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a hexagon. Um, it has six sides. So the um, formula for um, the sum of the interior angles, um, the sum is going to equal n minus 2 times 180 degrees n being the number of sides or the number of angles because the number of sides is the same as the number of angles. So I've got 6 minus 2 times 180. Okay, I don't have much space here so I'll go this way. So 6 minus 2 is 4. And then 4 times 180 is going to be um, 720. So that means all of those angles on the inside add up to 720 degrees. And that allows me to do part B. Once I know what all those add up to, now I can write a big equation. Um, all of these angles are going to add up to 720 degrees. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to combine all of these on the left side. So just to make that quick, I'll use my calculator here. Okay, so on the left, all of those add up to 613. Okay, and then the last step would be to solve... Uh, for x by subtracting 613 from both sides. So 720 minus 613 puts me at 107. Okay, for my final answer here, um, I'm not going to put the degree symbol in because I'm just saying what number I could plug in there. It already has the degree symbol. So that's a technicality, but it's 107. Okay. All right, and then our last problem here, we've got two similar figures. Hey, they're socks. So like, I, I guess this one got uh, shrunk in the dryer, right? Um, okay, so they're similar, so they're the same um, shape, but they're different sizes. So there's my, uh, my symbol for similar, okay? Um, so we're going to set up a proportion here, and it's tempting to say, oh, 4 is to 5 as x is to 30. But that's actually incorrect. You don't want to do that because the 4 and the 5 are sides, and um, these are areas. So they're going to be in a different um, ratio. All right. So what I want to do is start by finding the side ratio since I have these two sides. Okay. So my side ratio is 4 to 5 or you could say 5 to 4, it doesn't matter, okay? And I'd want to reduce this. That one's already reduced, so uh, there's no reducing to do there. But from the side ratio, then I can find the area ratio. So if you know the, the side ratio of two um, similar figures, you're going to square that to find the area ratio. So when I square 4 fifths, I'm going to square the top and the bottom, and that will give me 16 over 25. OK, 
Okay, so now I know that these areas should be in a uh, 16 to 25 ratio. So now I can set up my proportion. So I'm not going to do 4 is to 5 is x is to 30. I'm going to actually do 16 is to 25, that's the area ratio, as my small area is to my big area, x is to 30. So that's my setup, okay? And then from there I'm going to cross multiply to solve for x. Okay, so 25x is going to equal 16 times 30. Let's see, 16 times 30 is uh, 480. And then divide by 25. And this is going to come out to 19.2. Okay, and th this is the area of the uh, smaller sock. So it should have the same units as the area of the bigger sock. So that means I've got square inches here. Okay, that's the end of the warm-up, and I'll see you next time.